by using correlation mode, you can find what and how other variables are correlated to a variable of your interest. Here is an Airbnb property listing data. Each row represents each property. Let's say we are interested in the price column and want to see how the other variables are associated with the price. Click on the correlation button and select the price column. This will run a series of calculations to evaluate the relationship between the price and all the other variables. Each variable shows an error bar. The center dot shows the average price and the bar shows a range of the 95% confidence in total, which indicates that the true average price should be in this range with 95% chance. For example, this neighborhood group's error bar shows that Manhattan's average or mean price is $146 and the highest among the five neighborhood groups. And it is far different from the other neighborhoods. Even with the confidence in total, we can say that there is a significant difference from the others. Now, when we look at the starting island and Queens, though their average prices are different, $92 and $88 respectively. However, given the fact that the true average price of Staten Island is between $86 and $97 and that overlaps with the price range of Queens, therefore, we can't conclude that there is a significant difference between these two neighborhood groups. Now, let's take a look at these metrics. The R square is calculated based on a simple linear regression model built for each variable. It shows the strength of correlation between the price variable and each of the other variables. It ranges between 0 and 1. 0 means there is no correlation, and 1 means the perfect correlation. Now, what are the variables that have a strong relationship with the price variable anyway? Well, we can quickly sort the columns by using R squared, which indicates the strength of the relationship. We can see that weekly and monthly price variables are listed at the strongest, which is kind of expected. We can also see that the accommodate variable, which shows how many people can stay in a given property, is more correlated with the price than the square feet variable. Now, not only the numerical variables, that you can explore the correlation for, but also the logical or binary variables, which has either true or false values you can explore. For example, we can select host underscore is underscore super host variable as a subject of interest and see which variables have stronger relationship and how. For the logical variable, we can use AUC as a sorting metric to sort the variables from the strongest relationship to the weakest. The AUC, aka area under the curve, here indicates how effectively a given variable can separate the true and false data of the target variable. In this case, that is a super host variable. It typically ranges from 0.5 to 1, and 1 as the most effective, which means the strongest relationship between the two variables. When we look at the review per month variable, the y-axis of the error bar chart shows the percentage of the true. In this case, that is the percentage of super host in a given group. For example, when the number of the review is between 5 and 10, about half of the properties are owned by the super host. And the percentage increase as the number of reviews per month increases. Each of the last two data points have only one row of data, and they happen to be false, hence the percentage is zero. These are called outliers or extreme values. They are super big or small, but tend to be very minority data. You can click on the chart icon to create an error bar chart under the chart view automatically, and remove the outliers to see the general patterns. We can see that most of the properties get 0 to 5 reviews per month. And as the number of reviews per month increases, the percentage of the super hosts increases as well. 
the correlation mode under the summary view is a great tool to find out if there are any variables that are associated or correlated with the variable of your interest. And if there are, it helps you understand how.